Thank you, Ari. A very moving story. Our second speaker is going to be Al Davis, and uh, he will be introduced by Ramiro Naharo. And uh, uh, Ramiro, would you please read uh, the objectives uh, for Al Davis? Sure. Uh, all, all languages uh, are simple. His objectives are to instruct and to entertain. And uh, his, his goal is to have eight, eight, seven to eight minutes. And uh, his topic is learn to yoga. All day. Thank you very much. I hope my speech is going to be neither otios nor odious. <laughs> now, for purposes of this speech, I have to put the mic down, otherwise it's going to wind up flying in the air. We'll pause for technical difficulties here. And I'm going to need to move to lecture also. In order to really pull this off, I'm going to need a volunteer. And there's, there's two qualifications for volunteering for this thing. One is you, you have to have no knowledge of juggling whatsoever. And two, you have to be able to bend over and get back up easily. Do I have a, we have a volunteer. Thank you very much. Thank you for, willing to go, for being willing to go out on a limb. Now I have a set of balls for me and I have a set of balls for you. Would you kindly read what, what the name is that's engraved on the balls? Klutz. Klutz, right. <laughs> now, my goal in this is to teach you the basics of three ball juggling in six to eight minutes, which is dwindling as we speak. But we're going to start not with three balls, but with one. Now, the first thing you want, well, let's put one in each hand. First thing you want to do, don't do it until I tell you to do it. I want to demonstrate it first. So one ball in the air, and then the other ball. You want to get it about eye height. Can you do that? Keep going. Good, good, congratulations. Now, what we, can do, we can do it with two balls. The next trick is the one you're going to learn and get the best at. It's called dropping the ball. <laughs> now, this is something you will, you will do repeatedly, and you can get very good at it. If you do this on your own, you want to do this over a bed so you don't have to bend over quite so much. So I didn't find that out until I did juggling for a year. <laughs> but it's good exercise. Throw the ball up and just let it drop. Throw the ball up and let it drop. Okay? Good. Try it again. Good. Now, put one of the balls down. Now, what you want to do is catch the ball in the other, throw the ball and catch the ball on the other hand. Good. Not too difficult, is it? You have mastered one ball juggling. <laughs> so let's, let's hit two balls. Now, this is going to be a combination of the two things. I want to point out that if, if this video is working, everybody in this room is going to be able to learn how to, <laughs> learn how to three ball juggle yes. simply by replaying. What I want you to do, and I'll demonstrate this first, is throw one in the air and then in the other in the air. <laughs> see, see, what happens is when, when there's more than one ball, people get nervous, so the ball is way up here and way down here. Try it again, but only, only up to eye level. Good, getting better. Try it again. Okay, this is where it gets difficult. A lot, really. Ball. What I'm going to want you to do is throw one ball in the air, let it drop, throw the other ball in the air, and catch it. Like this. One in the air, let it drop, throw the other ball in the air, and catch it. Do it again. You have to have the other ball in the air. Sorry. <laughs> Try it again. Now, the hard part. Throw one in the air, 
and then while the other ball is in the air, throw the other ball in the air and catch it. <laughs> the trick to this is learning to relax. It's okay to drop the ball. It's okay to look and feel a little foolish. You can do that. It's okay. If that'll help you. <laughs> Try it again. All right, let's, let's back up a little bit. Let's throw one ball in there and let it drop and throw the other ball in there and catch it. Thank you. Oh, sorry. 